Notts County talk, it's finished, Notts County 3, Wrexham 1. Just a great way to start the new year. Name four players on the bench, one being a goalkeeper, one being a player returning from injury, one being a player that's not trained in a week, and one being an out of favour striker that hasn't played in a couple of months. Yeah. And we've gone and won 3-1. Player rating's unbelievable. I just want to say before we go on, you sound like Sean Dyche. My voice, my voice is gone. My voice is gone 20 minutes in. 10 minutes in when I was shouting for the red for the penalty. I mean, <laughs> it's, a, it's, it's a bit of a mess at the minute. I'm glad I've, it's bank only tomorrow, but we'll get, we'll get on with the player ratings because let's not kid ourselves. They have 11 men. Different story. Even with 10 men, they look dangerous, didn't they? Yeah, yeah, they did. Yeah, but I, I think, you know, on, on a whole today, I do agree with you, but I still think we'd have done it. I just don't think it'd have been as easy, you know? No, I agreed, but yeah. The, the, the game management is something we've struggled with yeah. and we, we, we did it, we got it down to a T. So player ratings, um, I nearly said Sam Slocum, Anthony Patterson. 10. Next. 10. Yeah, saves a penalty, nothing he can do for the goal. Just like Richard was sat in front of us, wasn't he, from Notts County stats. And we've talked about it before, how high he sits when we're in possession. He's, he's always outside his box. And that allows the defence to sit a little bit higher. And you don't get that with Sam Slocum. And I think that you see you see that it improves our game so much because everyone's just higher up and everyone's available to receive the ball if need be. It's not like you're kicking the ball back to your centre back and he's near the 18 yard box. He's near the halfway line. So yeah, it, it, it helps the way we play massively. And yeah, absolutely class today. I agree. The penalty is one as the game goes to two two. Don't think we win that. I really don't. So Patterson for me ten. I know it's. Big way to start off. He's come straight back in the team and it's justified. Let's go to wing back then on the right hand side, Jaden Richardson. <laughs> you could give him a 10 as well. I'm not going to, but you really, I mean. I'll go nine and a half. I'll go nine and a half. I can't just keep giving the 10s out willy nilly. Like literally perfect. I really hope we, we keep on, hold on to him until the end of the season because he's so good. He's so, so good. The link up between him and Vincent is fantastic. And honestly, Oh, some football we played today was out of this league and I know it's against 10 men, 10 men sorry but yeah I think the fact that he's got that much pace their fullbacks weren't slow he absolutely burnt him for pace two or three times you know he's, he's like a, he's like a winger he's always in that position but he's always back as well tracking back he's so quick yeah. his crossing ability which we looked at in the Pavis perspective and he didn't put too many crosses in the box we've got him putting crosses in we've got him taking men on He's just absolutely dangerous. Nine and a half. Um, let's go to, we'll go to the other, other wing back then. Chicksum. You know, wherever he's played, you could tell him to play up front and then put a shift in. I said before the game he doesn't take players on. Today he took players on. He was good. He was good defensive wise. He, he was very a, a very good ball put in the box for the penalty. You know, he cut it back to Kyra Mitchell. Didn't just hit it across, he picked someone out. I think the way he played, the position he played, I'd go eight and a half. I'm going to give him an 8. <clears throat> I do think it. I mean, he did beat men today, but there were times when you sort of feel like he's running into just running into space and hoping someone arrives to give him the option to pass because he doesn't always have the beating of a man, in my opinion. But today, I thought he was exceptionally good. Um, like you say, for Cairo's, should have been goal, but he's unbought off the line. Fantastic crossing. And just the layoff runs that he was getting on the end of, just brilliant today. Brilliant. Centre backs then. Let's go Richard Brindley first. Mm, probably not the best of the back three. Still good though, still very good. Um, couple of misplaced passes. Uh, gonna give him an eight as well. Yeah, I, I think I'll go eight as well. It's just the pace it gives you. And what he's very good at, it's a very niche thing to be good at, but he takes the ball down really well when he's, when he's got time and space. Because a lot of the time, if you've got a player that's just gonna head it away or boot it away, you give possession back to a team like Wrexham. Yeah. The way he takes it down, you know, he's running direct at players. He's got Vincent to his left, Richardson to his right, and they don't know where he's passing. He ends up taking it an extra 10 yards and then laying it off. So, really good from him. Alex Lacey. Nine. Kept Mullen quiet. And he, like we discussed it, he was he was pretty much marking Mullen all game, wasn't he? I mean, I forgot he was playing at points. Mullen, he just didn't offer anything, did he? He was just getting angry. And that was that was about it, really, wasn't it? Yeah. So, we kept him at bay. He did do something. Miss penalty. Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, he missed the penalty. Um, yeah. uh, Lacey, in the air today, was unbelievable. He won almost everything. It, Mullin got the better of him once when he turned and Lacey pulled him back. Tactical foul. But I thought 
he's one of these players because he doesn't dry, bring it out of defence or do the pretty things you kind of forget he was outstanding mm. nine then goes to captain Carl Cameron nine and a half assist uh, I mean don't get me wrong I was on a sitting on the edge of my seat because he got that yellow card didn't he quite early on and he was looking well up for the game so he, I mean I'm surprised he didn't get a second yellow to be honest but you know he, he did well to, to rein it in a little bit but still keep that physicality there in his game super just fantastic he's such an he's such a good player such a good player he suits this system so well he was, he was, I can't praise him or not I genuinely can't praise him or not he was free you know Ben Toza won 100k for a long throw um, <clears throat> more than 100k then goes to midfield then this I'm going to eat my words here if you watch our pay perspective you know I advocated Fred Francis to never be included again a little bit tongue in cheek obviously but outstanding Nine and a half could even be a ten. Absolutely unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable performance. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to give him a nine and three quarters, right? I'm not going to quite give him a ten because he misplaced one pass. It's harsh, I know, but honestly, today he was fantastic. I, I can't really. He's defensively like he was. Every heavy touch he was on it. Every pass he by one he got bang on, and he wasn't doing ten yard passes. He was doing passes that was, you know cut about 50 yards he was absolutely fantastic today and to be honest with you I can't really see anyone taking his place if he continues playing you can't drop him today. you cannot drop him you cannot drop him um, Matty Palmer not man of the match definitely not but yeah, yeah. but but very good yeah. eight and a half and all I'm going to say about that is he does what Matty Palmer does exactly yeah exactly nail on the head Vincent he, non-league David Silva sorry before non-league David Silva Silver. not Vincent wow uh, Vincent he doesn't have an off switch. It's he like doesn't. he forgets he's tired. This guy, I've never seen energy like it. And like I've already said, Rich, his link up with Richardson is something else. Um, I'm going to give him an eight and a half. I thought he was really good. Nine. Really good. Nine. Eight and a half, nine. Yeah, same thing. Unbelievable. Like, Unbelievable. When Richardson almost scores, and we'll talk about Eli's missing a second, He's got the whole crowd shouting at him. He's on a break. It's a quick break. He's got players closing down. He picks the perfect way to pass. He's just absolutely unbelievable. So I, that midfield three has to stay in. It does. Yeah. Um, Kyra Mitchell then comes off. Not sure why. Probably sure we'll find out. You know, he should have a goal. It's handballed on the line. We, we don't play volleyball. We play football. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> You know, I thought we, I thought he was quite good. I thought seven probably. Eli Sam ten. <laughs> Eli Sam ten. You've heard it there. <laughs> um, Kyra Mitchell. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna go seven as well. I think if he'd have continued to play, I think he'd, he'd have got one. I really do. Um, but yeah, you just got to go off the first half. And for me, I, I thought it was pretty much perfect. You know, the runs he was making, his movement, his like his positioning for crosses and f for receiving passes was better than Watton's. It was fantastic. Like really good. Yeah. So yeah, seven. I, I think. Hard done by to come off at half time, but there must be an issue there. Mm. Carlton, two goals yeah. again. Has that squashed the room? We need a striker. I think that's 14 for the season. Penalty, wasn't the best penalty, but he scored. The header, the, those headers are his bread and butter, aren't they? They literally are. And you know, he's got two goals in a 3 1 win. Without the goals, you don't win. Simple as that. Nine and a half, I think, because. He's just unbelievable. Unbelievable player. I mean, we've probably said unbelievable more times than we should have in this video, but he is just unbelievable. He's fantastic and he's unbelievable. Unbelievable. Nine and a half, I think. Um, then let's go to the only sub. Eli Sam. Someone in our uh, group chat, love lad Jordan, couldn't make it today. Put in the group chat, Eli Sam's come on. Big moment for him. I had to reply four minutes later saying he's nearly broken someone's leg. <laughs> I mean, it could have been a red revolve. Yeah. And the lad's alright, but I he misses an absolute sitter. I'm gonna play devil's advocate. I thought he had a very good half. No, I, I wholeheartedly agree with you to be honest. I thought he was quite good. Um, I thought he was very good. Hmm. He, he he just brings that physical edge, doesn't he? And don't get me wrong, four minutes into the, the second half you're thinking maybe we're in it in a little bit, bring <laughs> a little bit off the tackle, but <laughs> No, he was good. He was he just needs a little bit more pace, I think, because he put got some balls put through to him today where Probably could be a bit quicker onto him, but I'm not going to be harsh on him today because I thought he was quite good. I mean, that chance—you've you, got to be 
thinking quick, you know, like it, it literally forced him at an instance and he's tried to take a touch because there's defenders in front of him to try and kick it around them and his touch was just too heavy and you just feel like he's so unlucky, don't you? I think the sort of there like, ah, oh, it's Eli again, like. I think the problem is he doesn't expect it to come back. Yeah, he thinks it's a goal. He doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't have that sharpness as well. You got to remember, he's not played. I can't remember the last time he played. So he doesn't have that match sharpness. And today, the way he's come on, and the impact he's had, I, I think he's been good. Don't get me wrong, should have scored, but you know, otherwise, good. The word I'd use: handful. Yeah, handful. Not unbelievable. Nah, too many times. And Ian Birch, I'm going to give a ten. Yeah. You know, tactics were good away at Wrexham today. I nearly said unbelievable. Tactics were spot on again. Managed the game really well. We got the fist bump. You know it's been a good day when we get the fist bump. You know, we go on to Dover, hopefully picking up three points. If you have enjoyed the video, please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe to the channel.